Do you all imagine the lads are hurting after that one? Yeah, definitely. Um, <clears throat> you know, they could have pinned you up in there and almost said anything. It's uh, it's really hurting, but you know, thankfully we've got another game to, to put it right. So we go again Monday, pick ourselves up, dust ourselves off, and um, you know have good weeks in training. What's your assessment of the way that the game panned out today? Um, well, obviously not not the way we wanted it really, but you know credit to Exeter they came and they had a goal, you know, conceding early in the second half didn't help, gave them a lift. Um, you know I think we were below par as a team today, maybe the emotion of the day or what it might be, I don't know. Um, but like I say, we, we thankfully got another game um, that we can try and win or, or definitely win and, and get it promoted. When they look at half time, the performance was was there really for the most part in the first half. What do you think it was that was missing in the second half? Yeah, I mean, I think, I think we had a spell 15, 20 minutes after our goal, where, in the lead up to the goal where we were quite dominant and we played you know, our way. Um, but second half they came out, obviously tactically, they knew they needed to, to get back in the game and you know they, they pushed forward and but you know we were you know a bit sloppy start of the second half and gave them a lift and you know obviously the late goal as well as a killer but um, you know like I say I think as a whole to a man we were we were off it today. Still in our hands though, like you say that there is that the main thing that the lads have got to keep in their mind going into next week? Well obviously yeah we were lucky enough to have the, the game. Um, you know it's a massive game. You know we, we know that we know what's at stake, and um, you know like today we'll we'll approach it as a, as another game, and hopefully we come out on top down there. I suppose now no room for error and an opportunity that's got to be taken next weekend. Yeah, like I say, we we know what's at stake, and and um, you know we, we we should have really put it to bed today, but you know we go there having another ninety minutes at it, you know, and, and Crawley won't be won't be easy by any means, but. <laughs> You know, we know we we really know what's at stake and what it means to this football club. So, um, you know, we're going to do everything we can this week and Saturday. You said you couldn't hear a pin drop in the change rooms. There, you're obviously an experienced player. As players, how do you go about picking each other up ahead of an important week? Well, I know for you know, from my point of view, I'll go home and have a quiet weekend. I'm sure the lads will after that. But they also know they've got to come in Mondo and, and start performing again. You know, Monday starts either as a recovery or a. You know, as a training session, and we and we go against on, on Saturday.